there's a kind of uh, unique life-saving training happening at a yeah. hospital in New Jersey. Yeah, what an idea. Uh, they're using mannequins now to give doctors and nurses hands-on experience for life and death situations in the delivery room. And Ashley Bellman has the story from Valley Hospital. That's in Ridgewood. I'm going to be sick. Oh, <laughs> you're going to be okay. okay. You're almost done. You're almost done. This is Noel, a robotic mannequin who blinks, breathes, and gives birth. Hang in there. Something's very wrong. What's wrong, Noel? <laughs> She's not one to bottle up her feelings. And a simulation program is a new and inventive way to educate. Beth McGovern is a clinical practice specialist at Valley Hospital Center for Childbirth in Ridgewood, New Jersey. That's where Noelle is used to train labor and delivery teams how to react in high-risk situations that don't happen every day. What we're really starting to see is really improved teamwork and communication. And we know statistically that a lot of medical error happens because of lack of teamwork and communication. The person administrating the simulation can create different obstacles and challenges on the fly based on each step the team takes during the emergency. Beth says a lot of video gaming technology is now translated into simulation technology. <laughs> I didn't know that it was mechanical and that um, she can be set up for all types of different scenarios. And the simulations don't just stop with Noel. The hospital utilizes a baby Hal and also a five-year-old pediatric version of Hal for all different types of situations. Like operations, pediatric emergencies, neonatal resuscitation, and endoscopy procedures. While some are initially rattled by the doll like robots, staff members at the hospital say the practice courses are invaluable. I just think it's getting to be more mainstream, and there's real meat now to the research that shows that this is a great way to learn. Ashley Bellman, Fox 5 News.